Welcome to the Real World Connection, and not a moment too soon, I might add. I'm your host, Chris Gerlach, and bringing you opinionated stories, or stories that you might not have heard of. You might have heard of this one, not quite sure, but it's, it's based on tanking. Now, for all you non-sports fans, tanking means that you lose games on purpose, so you can get... You know, a good draft pick the next year or to build your team around with draft picks. So, we're going to base this on the Miami Dolphins. Sorry, Dolphins fans. But you guys suck this year, okay? Because because through three weeks, they are the worst team in NFL history. Brian Flores' team, not the greatest coach I would have hired, has been outscored 133-16 to for a point differential of minus one. 117. That's 20 points worse than the previous record holder. And that was since the merger. And that's the 1950 Colts. But at least those Colts briefly led in one of their three blowout losses. Miami hasn't made it out of the first half of the first quarter with a tie. It has scored one touchdown in three weeks, which isn't an NFL record. However, it has allowed 18 touchdowns over the same time. And that is an NFL record. You know, of course, the Dolphins aren't trying to be competitive. You know, they're not publicly admitting it, but we can see it, okay? You don't need to look far to find successful examples of teams tanking as part of their rebuilds. Just look at the Astros and the Cubs. They parlayed years of dismal seasons into World Series championships. And now we got the, the Philadelphia 76ers who tanked with gusto. For the last four or five years. And now they're among one of the favorites to win the 2020 NBA championship. Let's also talk about the Browns. They haven't posted a winning season since the start of the rebuild. And that's been several years ago. They try to draft quarterbacks that don't work. But now with Baker May- Mayfield, Miles Garrett, Odell Beckham Jr. They do have one of the most exciting young cores in the NFL. Now, the tenets of tanking have been going on for, for quite a while. It's probably been you know, 10 or 15 years, maybe even longer. But what do you think about this? Now, these players play for millions of dollars, and they're being paid to lose. I'm not quite sure about that. That, that really does not float my boat because I am an NFL fan, and I'm sure if you're listening to this, hopefully you are. You don't want to see your team lose. And if you're a Dolphins fan, you're looking back and going, oh, man. We are going to just, this is, this is the way it's going to be. Well, yeah, I mean, that's just the way the Miami Dolphins are, are going through. Now, I'm a sad Bengals fan, and <laughs> there's no rebuilding. We're just losing. But at least, you know, I, I know they're trying. Now, I want to know, I want, to, I, I want you to tell me what, how you feel about tanking. How do you feel about tanking? I mean, tanking is tanking, and it's losing on purpose, and... I, I, I don't get it. I mean, there is management in the NFL. There are general managers. There are vice presidents. There are presidents of teams that are supposed to build a team with good draft picks or trading or free agency. But yet, no, we're not going to do all that. We are we are going to just tank out the rest of the season. And that's just the way it's going to be. And it just, it doesn't make sense to me. And I think that they, they should just build the team around. I mean, you can agree with me if you want. You, you can disagree. Actually, if you want to really disagree with me, you can send me an email, okay? RealWorldConnection1968 at gmail.com Tell me how wrong I am or tell me how right I am. Because in my, in my voice, I think I'm right. Tanking sucks. And that's just the way it goes. Okay? So please tell me how wrong I am. I welcome the emails and I'll respond to every one of them. So, you know, the world keeps on turning, baby. So until next time, I am Chris Gerlach and this is The Real World Connection.